Hello everybody, Bill here again. Uh, this is our video blog of the week and today's topic is our value ladder. Now a value ladder, which is actually a direct response marketing term, uh, is a concept which relates to the escalating value, escalating typically price of a suite of services or a list of offerings. The idea is if you have ways in which one can engage your business, uh, you want to progress them further and further along your suite of services or graduate them up your value letter um, because what you're desiring to do is realize their goals, dreams, and aspirations. And hopefully the successful attainment of their goals, dreams, and aspirations is directly in line with the products you sell or the services that you provide. So uh, our value ladder here at Reputation Sensei by Digital Media Nation or, or our suite of services uh, is as follows. Uh, we as a company, based on Chris's leadership and the uh, philosophy of our entire team at large is that we believe that for a local business, a business, a professional services business, a healthcare business, a wellness business, a quality of life business, home services, uh, business services, for those businesses serving the local community, there is no more important digital marketing engine uh, than your successful reputation and review generation. So we begin with the foundation of reputation marketing. This means that we work with our clients to make sure that they're set up for success, they have an outstanding customer, client, or patient experience, and they're they're securing those outstanding reviews. Those reviews uh, validate the work they do in the marketplace. And for those 75% of searches each day that are done on a mobile device, no one's clicking the get directions or the phone call or the web uh, icon to look at the website if there is an abundant and clear public validation that your services or your products are delivered effectively. So we first begin with reputation marketing. That's at the cornerstone of everything we do. We start with that. Uh, and then from there, we have reviews uh, generated and then we promote those uh, as marketing assets. Now, reputation marketing, which is review generation and sharing of those assets, uh, goes hand in hand uh, for specifically for a local based business with local SEO, the optimization of a Google business profile of a Bing profile of your Yelp profile, all the syndication services, the myriad of listings management, um, the, the local backlinks that we can do with some high domain authority pages like local chambers or church groups or, or colleges or universities or professional organizations or press like a local or regional newspaper or, or uh, uh, television studio. Uh, that's always going to work really well at keeping you in that map pack, keeping you high in the uh, local search results, mobile or desktop. Now, why is that important? Because as I say, if the world says it's so, it must be so, uh, but ultimately, a high percentage, over 65% of all searches never leave that Google page, specifically on, on mobile, which means they're, they're asking, hey, who's doing a great job uh, as a pediatrician in Roswell? And based on the public's 4.8 rating and, and the, the recency and volume of reviews, now I'll consider a phone call or, or, or diving a little bit deeper in my research. So the, the local SEO combined with reputation is a real strong place for a local professional services business to begin. Now, where do we go from there? Well, the next place we go is we're strongly recommending lead generation, paid ads. That could be social media ads on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or LinkedIn or Twitter. That could be Google pay-per-click ads. Uh, which obviously Google is, is, is the number one search engine of our, of our country. And, and that's where people are going actually physically looking for information. They have questions, they need answers. So we, we then go from our reputation and local SEO and we move you up into lead generation. What's awesome about lead generation is this can provide uh, you know, the, the phone to ring. It can provide people to come into the door. It provides instant ROI. We as an organization believe in giving back to our clients uh, immediate return on investment. We want them to feel outstanding about our work together. And the way we prove that is not only with the successful attainment of reviews and publishing those reviews and promoting those reviews, but also with new opportunities. And we like to say we can turn a positive customer, client, or patient experience into instant lead generation. And we do, but the lead generation 
lead generation efforts that we engage for our clients are infinitely more effective uh, when we have money uh, to, to throw behind that. So what I like to say is, hey, we believe wholeheartedly in our vehicle. Our vehicle is, is built to win the race but it's gonna need a fuel source. So with that fuel source, we can power it with some, some paid ads and some lead generation. Seth Godin said it best. I would much rather focus on my conversations on the individuals and organizations that genuinely need my services as opposed to disrupting people who don't. And interest-based uh, lead generation is much better than disruption-based lead generation. We do both, uh, but we clearly recommend lead generation as phase three of our approach to growing a local business. Now, reputation marketing, local SEO, we're doing lead generation. What comes next? Well, it's recommended that your website, uh, if you're a growing business, you should be refreshing your website every 18 months to two years. You should be looking at a full rebuild or redesign four to five years. So we're constantly looking at your website. We wanna make sure that your website is congruent with everything else that we're doing online. We wanna make sure that the, the reviews and the personality and, and the care and the heartfelt approach that you have to your customer, client or patient experience is reflected on your website. So once we've gone through reputation, local SEO, uh, we're doing some lead generation paid ads, we're fueling the fire. Now we wanna make sure that that website is congruent. Uh, it's, it's, it's proving what we've already claimed, which yes, we're hoping, as an organization, we're totally credible, uh, we're very relatable and reliable, and we're ultimately going to be very accountable for the work that you ask us to do. So we go through that stage for a website eval, usually right around uh, a year to make sure we can set that up for success, right around that 18 to 18 to 24 month mark. Uh, and some of our clients, they want a website right away. And obviously, if that's the case, uh, we can engage with that. But after we've gotten the website tightened up, uh, we're, just so you know, we're always representing social media at some point in the game, but it's about this time that we might introduce social media marketing or management as a done for you service. So we would we would offer our, our services to work alongside of uh, kind of the boots on the ground within an organization to amplify that credibility plus relatability. Really, no one is going to be better at, at promoting the personality of an organization than the individual organization itself. So we do a lot of coaching in that regard, but we can offer social media marketing uh, and management. And I mentioned lead generation, obviously there's a component with the lead generation of some social aspects, um, but social media marketing, in our opinion, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a need to have for your business, but it's a nice to have as a done for you service. Um, you know, it's been said delegating your social media efforts is delegating some of the most personal things that you do online, and it's not always best practice. So we don't begin with that. Certainly, again, just like websites, if somebody's asking us for that, uh, we're going to go there. Uh, but ultimately, uh, the delegation of that really personal, uh, vulnerable part of your business is something that you should be doing and enjoying to do 100% uh, on your own. Now, if we're building a, a lead gen engine, we've got a funnel in place and it's working. Well, the next logical step uh, after discussing the, the social media and the website presence is what are we doing to nurture this relationship over time? Only a very small percentage of the people that, that find you online uh, are going to be needing your services right away. And for those that need your services right away, great. We want to get them in the door. We want to get a form filled. We want to get an appointment or a consultation scheduled, and we can help you with that. But what about those that were looking for information and might have uh, a desire to engage you at a later date? We want to make sure we stay top of mind. The way we do that, email marketing and marketing automation, which, which we also offer as a service. So again, moving us further along this, this value ladder, up, uh, up the, uh, the value um, uh, paradigm, if you will, is, is email and marketing automation which is an outstanding service. And we see a ton of success uh, with, with our, our clients who engage in that. Again, making sure we're top of mind, building value over time, establishing and cementing a relationship, uh, creating what we call a reciprocity engine. These are all things that are just really, really important. And email and marketing automation do a great job running in concert with a lead gen uh, campaign. So again, just to recap, reputation, marketing, review generation, local SEO. From there, we're going to get into lead generation, paid ads, uh, a fuel source for the, for the, uh, for the vehicle that we're moving. Uh, we then want to look at the website. We then want to look at social media. We then want to look at marketing uh, automation and email uh, nurturing campaigns. From there, well, we have other offerings. They're not really 
there are things that we just don't sell. There are things that we offer as a value add to our to our uh, valued and trusted clients. And, and that would be uh, Chris and I do outstanding sales workshops where we can do sales training, customized sales training for our clients. We can also do customized customer experience uh, training, which is otherwise known as CX. So uh, sales training, CX training, customer client or patient experience training. Uh, and we also offer fractional CMO services for a lot of our clients. For the, the personal professional services business, the, the smaller organizations, even on up to the not so small organizations, they really look at us as kind of their marketing partner. So they look at Chris and myself as their, their fractional uh, chief marketing officer, uh, someone who can take a seat at the table, offer guidance, understanding, instruction, um, teaching, training, coaching, consulting, but ultimately it, it's a credibility and accountability partner. So as your organization moves forward, someone on your board of advisors understands marketing at a very high level. And more importantly, uh, has the trust of the organization to create and implement a longer term strategy that would successfully um, accomplish the goals, dreams, and aspirations you as an organization have set for yourself. So so we, we round out our, our um our suite of services, our value uh, offering, uh, value ladder with that fractional chief marketing officer uh, service, which we don't charge for. That's just a value add uh, for the clients that have engaged with us for a length of time suitable for that type of understanding. So again, today we're talking about the value ladder, otherwise known as a suite of services. It's everything we do to help individuals and organizations bridge the gap between where they are and where they ultimately want to be on their growth journey. Um, it is our belief that that begins an, upon a sound foundation of public validation and, and reviews. If the world says it's so, it must be so. And as it's said, you will grow. So once again, this is Bill with this week's vlog, The Value Ladder. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.